hi guys welcome back to my channel so today me and my sister and the dog Bella. we are going to be doing a spa day at home we're really bored right now because obviously we're in quarantine and we want to do some self-care so obviously we can't go out to the spa and get any of this stuff done so we're gonna be showing you everything that we're gonna be doing to do a little spa day at home we're gonna be doing everything from gel pedicures to dip nails if you haven't seen my last video i do in-depth tutorial on how to do dip nails step by step so i'll link it below if you have missed it all the products are linked in that video too i'll link them also down in this video but my nails are a good two and a half weeks on and this is what they look like. None of them lifted or cracked or anything like that. But um, we're gonna be showing you the stuff that we use to do our gel pedicure. Everything that you see in this video will be linked down below. Then we're gonna be doing hair masks, face masks. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys the products that I use to wash my hair and I have a new blow dryer. I just got the T3 blow dryer in and I'm so excited to test it out. I'm gonna be showing you guys also what self tanner I use and I always need somebody to help me with my self tanner so. <laughs> my sister's gonna be the lucky winner to help me. We've been in pajamas for three weeks. Yeah, we've literally been in pajamas <laughs> for three weeks. It's ridiculous. Look how cute this sweatshirt is, though. I know tie-dye is like a big trend right now. I got this, though, on the Ariana Grande sweetener tour. We're also going to bake chocolate chip oatmeal cookies, which I'm so excited about. You like getting rubbed? So we're actually in my sister's little makeshift salon in the shed. <laughs> and she's it's called gonna be, La Shed. Actually. Yeah, it's called La Shed. Like and she's actually gonna just wash my hair real quick. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I use, and it is the Paul Mitchell Extra Body Shampoo and Conditioner. I will link these below. Please give a tutorial on how you wash hair professionally. She legit has like a sink in here and everything. Like, I really feel like I'm in a salon. But obviously, if you don't have this at home, which most people don't. <laughs> Most people don't. Then just wash your hair in the shower. back from washing the hair and now we're gonna put a hair mask in this is the one that we always use it's by the brand it's a 10 and it's the miracle hair mask it smells so good yeah no it really does smell really good so after all my hair is washed I'm gonna brush it through obviously I use a here it is I use a wet brush this has got a lot of hair in it it's Disney edition but I use a wet brush to detangle my hair then I take a microfiber towel and I just go like this you get these on Amazon I'll link some below and I just squeeze my hair dry. I just pat it like that. Never rub your hair. It's not good for your hair. So that's what I do. And I'll just do it for like a minute. And then I'm ready to put my mask in. So this mask is super good because it just restores the moisture back into your hair. It tames your frizz. It, it makes your hair like really, really soft. And it detangles. And my hair always gets tangled so easily because it's super long. So that's why I like to put this mask in my hair like one to two times a week. Um, whatever day I'm washing my hair is when this mask will go in. So first what I'm gonna do to put the mask in is I'm gonna take my finger and make a middle part. Sorry if I'm looking up, I'm looking into the viewfinder. And then I'm just gonna make sure I go all the way back and split it right down the middle. And then a little bit above my eyebrow, I'm gonna go ahead and split each section in half, just like that. I'm just gonna twist it and put it up in a clip. I just use these like little banana clips. You get those off Amazon too. I'll link some below and then I'll just go through and brush each section again. Then I'll take about this much of the hair mask. Again, this is for my length hair, so take less if your hair is shorter. So then I just start from the bottom and I work my way up the section. And I also make sure to get every single strand of the section like completely coated with the mask. So I always make sure to get really close to my roots but never go onto the scalp. So this brush is comparable to the Denman brush, which is like a really expensive, nice brush. And it's for curly hair, but I use it um, when I'm doing this mask and I just brush that section through after it's all coated with the mask. 
and I also like this brush because you could take this piece out and you could stick it under the sink um, to wash it which is really good to like get all the product out of it so I'm just taking my next section down brushing it through and then taking a little bit more of my mask and doing the same thing So I'm finished putting the mask in all of my hair and you literally know when it's all in when your hair is completely saturated. And then again I just go over one more time and make sure it's all brushed through my hair. So then I'm just going to take all of my hair up in my hand and I'm going to put it into a bun and that's what I usually like to put it into when I have the mask on just so like everything seeps together really nice and I also don't like it like hanging all over my face and my clothes because it's soaking wet and it's really long so I'm just gonna throw it up in a bun so what I'll do for my bun is I'll just take it and twist it I'm sure everybody knows how to do a bun but if you don't I just wrap it around after I twist it and I usually just secure it with a clip or a hair tie or something so today I'm just gonna secure it with a clip just because I have a silk scrunchie like on my wrist and I don't want to ruin it. So the least amount of time that you should leave this mask in is like 15 minutes. But I just leave it in for as long as possible. I mean I've left it in before for like 5 hours. But today I'm probably just going to leave it in for like 2-3 to three hours. Because we're going to be doing other stuff while the mask is soaking. And I look, this bun is not cute but whatever. So now I'm going to go show you guys my paraffin machine. So some spas have a paraffin wax machine, but I usually get this done when I get a pedicure. They like put nice hot wax on like your heels and then when they peel it off, you have like baby smooth skin. So this is the paraffin wax machine that we have. It's like really old, honestly. Um, it's by Dr. Scholl's. It's probably not even available anymore. So I obviously make sure to remove my jewelry before I go ahead and dip my hand in. And sorry if the lighting is weird. I have like my studio light here to try to get some more light so what we did was we heated the wax up in our machine on high just so it heats up really fast and then we are waiting for it to cool right now so you know it heated up once it's like movable liquid. yeah it's liquid and um you want to shut it off and wait for it to cool before you dip your hand or any body part in because um then you'll like burn yourself so i'm just gonna go put my jewelry away so you leave it in for like five seconds and then you pick your hand back out. It'll look like you belong in the wax museum after you take your hand out and you just have to let it dry. Look how weird your hand looks. So I leave my little wax hands on for like 15 minutes. I even got some on my wrist. It like went all the way to here. Oh my God, I literally look so weird. I wouldn't recommend doing this if you were not going to be doing your nails after. It's just a pain to peel off. It's just a pain to peel off, but it comes off. It does come off, so if you do want to do it, it comes off. But I'm doing my nails after this, so just getting them soft first. Oh, and now we're going to peel it off. My mom's holding our camera, so thank you. <laughs> and this is how it comes off. Literally, like, peels off like what? What would you explain it as? Like wax. Gloves? gloves wax. With a glove? It literally is like, like a silicone glove that just peels off. And then your hands are like baby soft. a baby's butt. Yep. You can put it on your toes, but we don't want to dip our feet into the machine because like, yeah, that's gross. So we only do our hands, but you can do whatever you want, really, <laughs> if it's your personal one. Bella loves to sit and to watch everything that's going on outside. She just sits and looks out this door all day her pride and joy. She needs the belly rubs. And to just sit here and look out the window. So we actually have a new technique on how to take off your dip nails and it takes it off in like five minutes, not even. It's crazy. So we're gonna- I saw it on TikTok. Yeah. That's where I learned TikTok. it. <laughs> um, but we're gonna show you how we do that. And then these are our little swatches. My sister just got this little ring wear off Amazon. Yeah. And then you get like little tips you dip them in your dip powder and you have little swatches. Now we got all the, the dog <laughs> and mom. I don't think Twinkie was ever on. This is Twinkie. It's our little Papillon. She's so small, she's like four pounds. 
So I'm picking out my color right now and we have like a little swatch wheel of colors and I think I'm gonna do a new color of ours. So this is a new color we have. It's called Serenade and it's by Kira Sky. It's like a true like Barbie pink. So I also might do this fun color. It's by OPI. It's called Show Me Your Tulips. I'll link these below if you guys wanna check them out. But um, You should do matching me. Purple Palazzo pants. I don't know, or I might do this, but it's like lavender. First, what you do is you take a bowl and you put some water in. Then you take a Ziploc bag and you just put some paper towel on the bottom. I folded it a couple times. And then when you put your hand in, you're gonna wanna put it in between the paper towel. So now, you're gonna take some 100% acetone, open it up and just pour some in until it creates like a little pool, I don't know, at the bottom. There's a good amount on the bottom if you can see it. It's about that high. Okay, so our camera died, so we are filming on the phone. But I have one hand in here, and now I'm putting my next hand in. And again, it's just a plastic baggie with the acetone and the paper towel. So now it's been like five minutes. Take and one out. I'm gonna take my hand out. Wait, am I doing it? Like, yeah. this didn't work. Yeah, dig me. Okay, this is what it looks like. I recommend if you don't have somebody to help you, um, take this off by yourself or like file it off, then just do one hand at a time so you could work obviously with a free hand. But it's supposed to just like be rolling off. It's oh, and I have these big ugly gloves on. Oh yeah. Because I don't want to ruin my nails. Yeah, she doesn't want to get acetone or anything on her nails because she just did her nails. So that's why she okay. has those like, put it back, ugly gloves on. So this is what it looks like now. It's just a very thin layer. Yeah, there's like a very thin layer left and I'm just gonna stick it right back in the bag. The water's still warm. Yeah. So now we're just taking my nails out for the second time. Ew, the paper towel came off on them. It's literally stuck. <laughs> <laughs> my sister just made us coffee. Wait, show them your mug. It says bride here in the maid of honor. She's my maid of honor and I always wear my hair in a bun. Ooh. My bathrobe and she always wears I her hair curly. curly. So it looks like us. And we are so tired for some reason. This method is like weird and messy, but like it's I like, like yeah, to do it on myself. It's kind of really messy. So I think from here on out, I'm not gonna do this method just cause I really don't like it. Um, even though it takes shorter, I just think my method, it just slides off so much easier without a hassle. So this is the T3 blow dryer that I got. They were having like a sale the other day where it was $99 and it came with like the brush, um, the blow dryer, and then also the little diffuser piece, which we're going to be putting on and using. But this is just what it's called. It's the Featherweight Lux, I guess, too but I'll link it below if you guys wanna check it out. They might be having the sale still go on. So if the sale is still on, then it's $99 for the whole thing. And then we are also gonna be taking some hair products and putting them in my hair. We usually typically do this when I blow out my hair. So first is just this leave-in conditioner from Matrix and we're gonna put this in my hair before I brush it out. Then we are gonna take this Matrix Flash Blow Dry Oil, and this works really well before you dry your hair. You put it in while your hair is still wet, and it helps dry your hair faster. So we just sprayed a little bit of this, the leave-in conditioner in, and then we're just gonna brush it through. Just on the ends and not too much. A lot of people spray it at their roots for some reason, which just makes their hair really heavy and oily. Mm -hmm. So now she's just squeezing my hair with the towel and it's just like kind of soaking the water out. Always make sure never to rub your hair because that's gonna create frizz, which no one wants. So just squeeze it. Now we're gonna take the Flash Blow Dry Oil from Matrix, just spray it in. Don't put this product near your roots because it's just gonna make it oily. And then just brush it through.
Do you see how shiny my hair is from that mask? Like it's so smooth and like sleek. And for the blow dryer, it was really light, right Amanda? Mm-hmm. It was like really light, which is good because then your arm's not gonna cramp. I mean, I haven't tried it myself yet, but that's what she said. And then always make sure to definitely put that diffuser on um, because then your hair will be frizzy and it will not come out smooth. And so, can what? I add something? Yes. If you don't have the diffuser on, this metal part, that will actually, if it hits your hair, it will cinch your hair. And that's how you, people burn off their hair with a blow dryer. So definitely put the diffuser on. This is how my nails turned out. It's just a light um, lavender color. And I'll have the shade linked below what we used. But it's called Purple Palazzo Pants. I'm in my sister's room, by the way. I probably didn't even say that. But yeah, if it looks different, I'm in my sister's room. And as I said before, I have a whole video step-by-step -step on how to do dip nails at home. So if you want to follow along and do your own dip nails at home, I'll just make sure to include that video in the description box so you could watch it if you want to learn. So these are all the things that we use for gel nails. This is what we put on first, and it's a nail prep, and it's just a dehydrator for your nails. And then after that, we put on the nail primer. Both of these, you do not need the UV light to dry. So then we get our gel colors from OPI. We get the top and the base coat. Obviously, these need to be cured by the light. And then this is the color that I did on my toes. It is called Funny Bunny. And if you guys want a video on how to do like gel nails, I could actually do that too. So just let me know if you want to see it. Also, this is like the little tiny gel light that we use. It was so cheap. It's like $15. And I'll be sure to link... If I can't find this, I'll link similar options below. But obviously we use this UV light to cure all of these polishes. Okay, so it's the end of the night now. I am super tired. It's like 10 30 11 i mean i go to sleep early so i get tired early because i wake up early um but i'm gonna take my makeup off and i'm gonna do masks actually didn't wind up self tanning i just didn't feel like it honestly and if i want to be like instantly tan really fast i just do the loving tan body makeup i'll link it below i always use it and um yeah i get it at like ulta i definitely ate one too many cookies but those oatmeal chocolate chip cookies are so good like i highly highly recommend trying them out um they're literally delicious but i need to stop eating so many cookies because it's just not good for me i just wanted to show you guys the masks that i'm going to be using so i actually placed an order on sephora which it did not come yet um i use the dr jart masks from sephora usually like the hydro one um i'll pull up the picture this is the mask that i usually use but i guess sephora's like shipping is like super slow i mean i ordered it what is today Saturday. I ordered it Tuesday and it still hasn't come yet. Um, so I just went ahead and did like drive up pickup at Target. Um, and I just like browsed on their website for different sheet masks. And I really like hydrating ones because my skin is primarily dry. So um, this is the one that I picked up. It's from Miss Spa and it's the Quench Facial Sheet Mask. This is what it looks like. But it claims to um soothe and soften your dry dehydrated skin it's made with avocado oil dermatologist tested and let's see if it works and then also in my order from sephora i usually get those little gel um eye patches that you put underneath your eyes i pulled them up here they are the peter thomas roth they're pricey but a lot come in the jar like i think 30 uses come in the jar which is really good these are them i'll link them below they're just super good and they're like so cooling and they feel like so nice like depuffing that area but i usually do those in the morning actually but i picked up these again from target they're comparable to them they're from qui bella professional they're just hydrogel eye masks so the eye patches i think i'm going to save for tomorrow morning but um i will continue to purchase them if they work really well because they are a lot more affordable than the sephora ones also i wanted to say that if you're doing a true spa day at home i think it's a really good idea to do like a facial steamer i don't personally have one but i know they sell them on amazon they sell them so many places so maybe i'll pick one up and i'll try it out but i just love like the feeling of hot steam on my face and it just it just makes me feel so good so um 
maybe I'll pick one up and I'll include it in my next little spa day. Okay, it's been 20 minutes and I'm taking this off. My face looks like so shiny. I'm gonna go rinse it with the cloth. I don't think I like this mask very much, honestly. I don't know, it just felt like just not right. I don't know, my skin just doesn't feel like that hydrated after it honestly almost burns a little bit I'm not gonna lie and it feels like tingly not in a good way um, and I think it's pretty red my face I don't know okay so I think I'm gonna update you guys in the morning and I'm gonna try these hydro eye patches so I'm gonna go to sleep right now because I'm super super tired but I'm gonna check back in in the morning when I am gonna put these on Okay, so it's the morning. I am going to try out these little gel eye patches. I put them in the fridge last night, so they would get nice and cold. But I hope they go well, because the face mask didn't go that well. So this is what they look like. They have almost like a cloth feeling on the top, and then the back layer is sticky. Sun is like shining over my head. But um, I'm gonna leave these on for 30 minutes. But there are, two more like packs in here like two more uses which is really good and these particular ones claim to be moisturizing and hydrogel so we'll see how well they work i'm usually like really puffy in the morning so that's why i like to do this so while these little patches um are sitting on here for 30 minutes i wanted to show you guys my self tanner this is the self tan that i use it's by loving tan two hour express in dark if you've seen my shop with me video that I recently put out, um, you would see that I picked this up because I was out of it and I never wound up using it. So um, I'm just gonna be using this today, which is my Loving Tan Bronze Shimmer Cream. And this just almost acts as makeup for your legs, but it leaves like really beautiful color. It just kind of like evens out your skin tone, hides any imperfections that you have. And um, again, this also comes in shades. I use the shade dark and I have worn this and wore white dresses or skirts and it does not rub off on your clothing. Just let it dry for like 60 seconds and it's all good. So that is my favorite tanning products. So if you guys wanna check these products out, I'll make sure to link them below. Okay, so I'm gonna take these off. I feel like it did like brighten my under eyes up. Um, didn't really plump. I feel like I do look like a tiny bit more awake. I do get like redness around my eyes and um, you know, like around these areas when I'm sleeping or like in the morning or something. So I feel like it did brighten it up a little bit, but it doesn't do as good of a job as my favorite little gel eye masks. So I'll link my favorite ones below. So that is it for today's video. I'm sorry if it wasn't like professionally done and it really just was meant to be relaxful. Again, like I was gonna do all this stuff that day anyway. So I figured I'd film it and it was like a little mini spa day at home. All the products that you saw in today's video will certainly be linked down in the description box. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys really liked seeing kind of what my self-care routine is and what a spa day at home looks like for me. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one.